mum was forever going to um, op shops and fairs and coming home with secondhand books and so we grew up with books everywhere. And then I went to uni because um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, I, I, I just loved English and then discovered another subject called social anthropology which I'd never heard of before. I, I really enjoy and am interested in other cultures and learning about other people I guess through growing up in Mangere. Once I graduated I um, wasn't sure what I was going to do so just took a little bit of time out, worked as a storeman for a couple of years and then I just had a, 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 like, a desire to teach and to work with um, young people similar to those who I'd grown up with. Taught at Tangaro College here in Notara for 23 years. Like for most, most teachers in South Auckland, um, you can't really find the material you, you need to work with the students that we work with, um, no matter what subject that is. So you, you end up making it yourself, which is a really cool thing about being a teacher in this area, because it, 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 it grows you in your craft, you know, and you become, you have to be creative because you have to learn the stuff you want, you can't just find it. There were very few books written for Pacific teenagers, especially, especially boys, yet they were always being told, your literacy levels are low, you've got to read more, you know? But when I take them to the library, it was very hard for them to find something they wanted to read about, where they could even see themselves in. And so that's why I started writing. So the Reading Tribe is interviews with uh, prominent Kiwis about uh, their, the journey that they have had with reading, books that have influenced who they've become, uh, helped them to achieve the things they have. And I tried to interview um, Kiwis from a range of fields, sports, medicine, politics, business, and diverse range of ethnicity and gender. Favourite part was finding out what book helped you, for example, Richie McCaw. He, he read about uh, this wave called the Millennium Wave, which is this huge wave that um, people have died on trying to surf and he wondered why do why do people do that you know why do they put themselves in danger like that and just the learning that he got from reading that book about the surfers who ride the millennium wave how they're always striving for for more what he learned from that helped him when he was being when he was the captain of the all blacks when he approached different situations reading is an amazing um, aspect of life but it can actually help you you know, to handle situations in life that you may be going through, work situations or relationship situations, it can actually really give you amazing advice, you know? So that's what I hope people will gain from the book is to see, to read about all these amazing people who read, that reading helps them to achieve the things they do. It's like watching an amazing series on Netflix and you can't wait to get back to it. And when you're in it, it's like you're in that world and you know the characters and you know you can't wait to meet them again you know that's why reading is exactly like that Auckland is a very diverse place and so there's so many like different interesting creative ways to express our interest and love for reading what works for me is um, having a favorite spot that I like to read in we've kind of got like a walled courtyard at home so it's private you know and we've got trees and we've got twoies in the trees you know and yeah, that's my favourite spot in the world. That's, that's a place I love to read. And I have certain times of the day that I really love to read. And I also like reading when I go to sleep at night, but usually that doesn't last long because of, you know, you drop off, you know. The key is finding the best time of day, the best place. Um, and also, number one is a winning book. Have you seen The Wire? Have you seen that series, The Wire? The Wire. Yeah, I couldn't wait for the next one. You know, I couldn't wait to get back to it. And, and when I have a book like that, that's, that's how I feel too. And there are books like that for everyone. But there is for every single person, there's a book like that, that once you're reading it, you can't wait to get back to it. You know, to be honest, I, I can't even remember where, how I thought of the name Reading Warrior. If you've always grown up hearing your reading level is low, you failed this reading test, you, you are gonna have this negative attitude of yourself as a reader, you know, and you're gonna associate reading with failing, you know, and being dumb. And that's not what reading is, you know, because I think it's about um, being, being who you are and, and using whatever your strengths are and your interests are. For example, um, there's a family in Tokoroa who really inspires me, um, Tere Ford and her husband Neville, and they're a Cook Island family, and um, their children were attending Strathmore School in Tokoroa. Some stats came out about Strathmore School's um, reading and writing literacy levels being lower than the national average, same thing, you know. So they decided, let's use Rugby League 
to try and combat this, um, this literacy. So they started a reading, uh, a reading program. The children were awarded points for reading with a, a, a male because um, they wanted the males to, to, to be engaged with the reading, you know. But what happens if there's no male at home? You know what they did? They, they went to the league club, the local club, and they said, would any of you guys be willing to be the readers for any kids who don't have a male? I could, you know, and, and they did, but they're not like teachers or, you know, social workers or whatever, they're parents. Who would have thought you could use the guys at the league club to help with reading? It's, it's just about like using who you are and what you do and your interests and finding a way to connect that to literacy. Yeah, that's how to be a reading warrior.